Hey everybody, my name is Chip Dodd from Team Visibility Adventure Racing. We just got done with the Sea to Sea Adventure Race, 72 hour expedition all the way across Florida. There's been a lot of talk about lighting systems on the um, Adventure Racing Discussion Group and so I figured I'd go through the lighting system that Andrea and I and the rest of the team used to get through C to C that worked absolutely perfectly. Um, let me start off with the batteries. Um, I'm a huge fan that all the lights have the same batteries and that they're removable because I don't like the idea that I have to recharge my light at a TA using a plug. Um, Phoenix gives, uh, the lighting system that we use is made by Phoenix Lighting System. You can find them online, F-E-N-I-X. They have two different types of batteries that are 18650 in size. One is the 2600 mega amp the other 18650 is the 3500. Um, I think the normally the 2600 comes with the lights, but the 3500 you can um, call and talk to Diane or uh, email her at Phoenix and you can buy some of these extra um, higher capacity batteries. So these are the ones I prefer to use. Um, and then these are kind of for backups. If you do not like rechargeable batteries and you want rock solid power that you're not worried about how old's the battery and all that, uh, Energizer does make the, um, what's it, CR123As. And basically two of these batteries match one 18650. So you can um, you can use these as regular energizers or lithiums. And um, they probably have a little bit oop, longer lasting power than some of the rechargeables. But I've never had a problem with these. Um, the other thing is if you use the same batteries in all of your lights, then for example, if you have a battery in your hand torch and your headlamp goes out, you can always take the battery out of that one, put it in your headlamp, and it'll get you by to the next TA. Okay, so let's start off with headlamps first. The ones that we used during this race was the HL60R. Um, this is one of their older lights, but it's a workhorse. It works really, really well. 75 bucks on the website. It weighs 4.3 ounces, which is kind of heavy. That's one of the drawbacks on this, but it is metal. It's rock solid. It's waterproof, durable. It's got 950 uh, lumens, which is a little lower than some other headlamps. Um, and it does have six modes. The nice thing, one thing I do like about this is it has one button. So you just have to kind of cycle through the one button. You don't have to figure out which button is which. Um, you can charge this using the uh, old kind of USB charge or you just kind of undo it, pull the battery out, put a new battery in at the TA and you're fresh and you're ready to go. Comes with a strap. I think the newer straps are actually reflective. This is an older strap because I've had this for a really long time. Um, it is, the top is removable if you want. This can go around your helmet and then you can take it off and on your bike helmet. What I prefer to do is I remove the strap and I actually zip tie the light directly to my helmet. And that way it just kind of lives there. It's always in the same spot. I know it's not going anywhere. Normal day-to-day -day riding, I just pop the battery out. But um, when we're adventure racing, um, stays on there. One drawback of this I learned this time, um, if you're using your headlamp to see your mat board, um, I did have to crane my head down a little bit to get the, um, the light to hit the mat board. Um, so normally what I do is I have the um, bike light on the handlebars. I let that kind of tell me where I'm going and I use this one on the low setting to see the map. Um, I used to have it mounted under here, which was really good because I this, this does angle and I could angle it down to see the map, but I didn't like the way the weight was on the helmet. So haven't really figured that out yet, but this time I rode with this and I just leaned my head a little forward. I could see it no problem. Um, there is another headlamp, which I really, really like the design. This one does have some parasitic drain. So if this is your around the house light, go with this, I love it. It's got a high beam, uh, like a, a spot beam, as well as a wide angle beam. Uh, this is the HM65R. I think this is also right around 75, 80 bucks. Um, it has two different buttons, which again, during racing when you're tired and you're, uh, you've been going for days, it's kind of hard to remember which side's which on high beam and all of that. But it, this has a bunch of different features, like the other one that angles forward and backwards. It does have a USB on the back and it does take the 18650 battery. So HM65R. Um, I love this light, but I do not recommend it for adventure racing. Um, okay, so that's all the headlamps. Let's talk about the hand torches. If you go on the Phoenix page, you're going to see a lot of this PD36R. This is, everybody loves this light, but it's got a big battery and it's heavy. It does have the thumb click, so it, um, really cool, but it's like a tactical light. Do not recommend this for adventure racing, even though I love this light for everyday carry. It's above my driver's seat in all my cars. Okay, so here's the two different lights I recommend for adventure racing. This is for your spot and TAs, or spot and uh, CPs out in the bush, or to carry your backup battery. So the first one is the E30R. This is the smaller of the two. Um, they even engrave it if you want. See, it's Team Disability on there. It's really cool. I think that was no charge. 
Um, this one has actually a magnetic charger, so it does not have a USB port. And many of the lights, like this big PD36, has a little rubber thing that pops out, so dirt and water and everything can get inside the light if you were, let's say, pack rafting. This one has no penetrations in it, so it can go underwater and all of that, and you're not worried about getting crap in there. Um, I normally don't use the magnetic charger. I just pop the battery out, put it in a battery charger, and put a new battery in. Um, does have like a little uh, little belt clip on there, which works pretty good. This one's the lighter one. This one comes in at 2.1 ounces. It does not have the thumb switch, so you do have to use the little switch on top to turn this off and on, but it's lighter. Um, it's basically, if you look at the size, it's basically an 18650 battery connected to a little lens. This is as minimal as you can get. Um, with a lot of lumens. I think this one is 1600 lumens. So this is a very, very bright light. It's got seven different modes on it. it costs about 80 bucks. Um, and again, if you buy one, get it engraved with your team name. Um, so the other one I like, it is a little larger. If you look at this, this is the LD30. So you can tell it is a little larger. It's because it has the switch on the end. So it's easy to hold like that and use kind of like a tactical light. This one does the modes. To cycle through brighter and dimmer but this is quick on quick off or you just hold it a little bit and just light something up very very good for looking for t for uh, cps i actually prefer this a little better I'm, i'd rather just carry the extra weight this is 1.8 ounces i'm sorry the um e30r is 1.8 ounces the ld30 is 2.1 ounces so it is like a little bit heavier both are 1600 uh, lumens the um this one's got six settings, this one's got seven settings, not that that really matters, usually it's either low or really high. Um, both are about 80 bucks. Other cool thing about this is, if you use an out there pack, this is how I carry mine. They fit very well right in this little pocket, so you always have your hand torch right there. And they do um, have the belt clip, you can remove this if you want, but either of these lights fit there very well. So they're always, their arms reach so you can go out there and find CPs. All right, let's see, last but not least is the bike light. Um, what are you going to put on your handlebars of your mountain bike? So this one is actually discontinued, but I absolutely love it. And it just shows you the, how Phoenix makes their lights and how much thought that they put into it. So this one's called the BC21R. It is an 18650 battery. It just opens up like a barrel like all the other ones. Stick it in there. It does have a USB port on there. It does have a little flap that comes down on that USB port. Um, I, again, I typically don't use the charging on the USB. I just pop the battery out. I bought one of Phoenix's chargers. You can put in four batteries at once. And so now I normally charge it there. I did add a lens cover, a lens cap strap on there. So if your uh, light falls off the bike, you can just um, put it on there. So I'm going to show you how this works in a second. So since this one's discontinued, the one I'd recommend on their website is the BC30 version 2.0. It's got 2200 lumens. It's got six settings. It's about 90 bucks. It's basically this light times two. So it's a little wider, a little heavier because it carries two batteries, but it's um, super robust, super bright, and um, looks like it has the same mounting attachment as this one does. Um, the other nice thing on all of their bike lights, they have the lens so that it um, reflects light down in like a cone, starting at your tire all the way up to the horizon and then stops at the horizon so that cars and other bikers and people don't get blinded by the light. You can always mount one of these to the to your handlebars if you wanted to, to use this type of light, but it is a um, three or beam that shoots all the way around in a circle, so it does get in people's eyes. But it, and another thing, if you go to TA and you forget to take it off your bike and stick it in your pack, then you, you you've, you're gone. So I really like having a dedicated headlamp that I carry in the backpack. I like the dedicated light lamp on top of my helmet. I like a dedicated hand torch and a dedicated bike light, all that use the 18650 high capacity battery. So now let me show you how this hooks onto the bike. It has this little mounting thing here. Normally I hook the little this thing off here, hook the strap on, and then slide it in there. It can angle side to side. So that if it's a little bit further on your bar, you can angle it so that it's more um, aims down in front of your front tire. But it pops off real easy. I have had this pop off one time mountain biking really hard. I had to go back and find it. So that hence the reason for the lens cover because then it can't go anywhere. Lens cover thing. So, all right. So that is my lighting setup. Um, so when it comes down to batteries lasting, that was one last thing. Um, I only, I normally run all the lights on the lowest setting possible and only brighten them up when needed. For example, if you're just on a road, just droning, going straight, I have the lights on low, um, especially your map lights. So you can see in the map, and then if you get into some tricky single track, I brighten them up. 
Same thing with a hand torch. I only use this when I'm looking for a CP, so it's, it's just very short bursts. I think I replaced one battery in my headlamp on the trekking section because that was on for the longest period of time. How many lights did you change out? I think just two times, two batteries. So two batteries. So um, so these, they're not that heavy. That's the other thing, if your whole team has a lighting system like this, then your whole team could just have one or two spare batteries. Not everybody needs to have one. But like I said before, the hand torch is not mandatory. So you could just have this be your backup battery. So if your headlamp ever runs out, you just pull this out and use that. So it's not ideal, but it's better than having to carry a whole bunch of batteries with you. Okay, um, that's it on the Phoenix lighting system. Let me know if you have any questions or hit me up on Facebook. Um, the other thing, if you are a verified adventure racer and you private message me, I do have a discount code for Team Disability, uh, friends, family, and fans. But um, I don't want to put that on the internet blanket. So I'll just, I'll go on and find you and stalk you and give you the, the code. So. One other thing real quick. Um, Phoenix has like a billion lights on their website. So what I would recommend doing when it comes down to finding the lights that I'm mentioning here, filter by battery type. So select 18650 on the left hand side. Then also filter by like 50 to $100 because all the lights I showed you were uh, under $100. And then also select batteries included because I believe every light that I showed you has batteries included. So then as you're looking through the lights, you'll, you'll see like 12 selections instead of like 112. Um, one more thing, um, as with anything on Amazon, there are a lot of Chinese knockoffs that look just like the real thing, although they are not. So I would highly recommend buying your stuff directly from the Phoenix website. And that includes batteries. Batteries are not all the same. And so if you buy Phoenix branded batteries, they're gonna last you a lot better and they're gonna be the correct size versus other off-brand batteries. And trust me, I've tried and the other off-brand batteries don't always fit the lights. And so, um, so just use the quality Phoenix products directly from their website and you can't go wrong. Thanks a lot for watching.